Here we are for another beer from Brasserie L'Ile d'Orléans, Françoise Bourgeois, which is a 9% uh, Belgian style amber strong ale. That's pretty much what it is. Google Translate, that's what you get. Bière dorée forte de style belge. There you go, in French. Very good. Get Manny here to help us out. Yes, yeah. senor. All right, so Françoise Bourgeois, again, the story, uh, the, these stories are kind of cool on the, uh, on the characters that they use, but uh, apparently she, uh, she was uh, one of the other women on Ile d'Orléans, uh, called her a whore, and she didn't like that. All right, so right off the bat, uh, yeah. golden color. It reminds me a lot of the double IPA that we... Uh, uh, as far as the color, as yes. As far as the color. But more carbonation. Yeah, a little bit more. Now... Brasserie de l'Orléans, they have their regular products. We've talked about this before. They have their regular lines, and then they have four seasonals that they do. And uh, again, we'll go back to the chocolate vanilla that we loved so much. That that was their winter uh, beer. This is their summer beer. Okay. So, you know, I'm just expecting, even though it's a very high alcohol content. Nine percent. Yeah. From just from being a summer beer, I'm expecting something somewhat on the lighter style. Right off the bat, we're getting a lot of floral, yep. citrus notes. Uh, a bit of yeast there. Of yeast. Yeah. yeah, I'm not getting too too much of the yeast, but yeah, I'm I'm keep going back to reminds me a lot of, of a double IPA. I don't know what maybe the taste would be different, but the taste is completely different. If you've had really true Belgian style high alcohol beers, yeah. this tastes exactly like it. Um, wow. There's the yeast. There's the big oh, bread. Yeah. Oh taste. yeah. Oh mm. yeah. Carbonization at the end. Um, almost no bitterness. Very this, sweet. Yeah, very sweet. This is more malty, um, and the alcohol really comes through on this. Yeah. Right. It, yep. it comes through, but but uh, in this style, in this style, they do that on purpose. They want it to come through. Yeah, I can I can see myself taking some time. To, uh, yeah, I don't see this, this as a summer beer at all. No, this, no. Is, uh, this would be a kind of late fall, you know, yep. um, it starts getting late earlier and you just want to sit down and relax after work with a beer and enjoy it. Uh, this is kind of the kind of beer that I would see at that point. The one we tried earlier, which was the uh, dry hop lager, yep. 5%, that was truly yep. a summer beer. Yep. Truly, truly. This one, not in my book. Nope. But great. It's great. Mm. I would say almost on the lighter side of a Belgian style. As far as body, I think you yeah, mean, right? Yeah, body, body. Yeah, still a little bit light. We still got the sweetness, a little bit of the yeasty bread, and the smoothness at the end. Uh, I like this beer. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a nice beer. I, I really like this. You don't get the yeah. high alcohol. I keep saying that, mm. but uh, you know, usually you get that flushing in the cheeks, and you feel it. It's, you don't get that. Cool. Cheers, guys. You can edit that in. Uh, you want to take a step, step up top? There we go. Yeah. There oh, okay. Go. There we go. Same there level. Go. Yeah. Through the magic <laughs> of television.